doesn't take long to predict what a character might say after you've already spoken to them, or what you might find in a place after you've already been there, but every once in a while something new happens, something different. Maybe you did something to trigger it. So today, I will be listing five unique interactions in Fallout 4. Let's get into it. Starting off with number 5, we have the brother vs brother interaction. So for this one, if you visit Diamond City, leave, and then come back a second time, it's going to start the following scene. Riley, one of the residents, is being held at gunpoint by his own brother Kyle, and this is because he thinks he's a synth. Hysteria about people secretly being synths is at an all-time high, and Kyle has been gripped by that very fear, and Riley is pleading with him, no, of course not, we're family. Now if you intervene by killing Kyle, no one's going to turn hostile toward you, certainly you just saved his brother's life. Or or you can just wait and the Diamond City security is going to end up doing it themselves and they're going to blow his head off. And what's terrible about this is if you ever do kill Riley, a synth component cannot be found on his body, so it really does seem that he never was a synth. His brother just let this fear take over his head to the point where, you know, he was prepared to do the unspeakable. Number four, we have the familiar faces interaction. So for this one, if you talk to Daisy in Good Neighbor, she's going to tell you that there's a ghoul from before the Great War staying at the Hotel Rexford. So you go there, and then up on the third floor, you'll find this very ghoul, and it's the Vault Tech Rep, who you met back at the beginning of the game. He survived the war. Certainly not because of his employers, though. In fact, he never made it on the list to be accepted into Vault 111, even despite 20 years of hard work for that company. So he's quite bitter about it. Don't bring it up. Although it should be noted that if he was allowed entrance, he very likely would have died just like the other residents. At least now he's been able to really experience many different generations. But anyway, you can still make him feel better by suggesting that he goes back to Sanctuary Hills to be one of your settlers. And if he does agree, it really does warm him up. It gives him hope. And now he can go back to protecting people's lives while making friends at the same time. Number three, we have the game show interaction. So for this one, if you head to Grey Garden and speak to Supervisor Green, you'll have an option on the left side where you can say that he sounds like a game show host. And the first time you do this, just by guessing that correctly, he says you've won the competition. What exactly that was, we're, we're not really sure. It's not important. But if you ask what you've won, he's going to lead you to your fabulous new prize, a rusty dismantled car. And there's zero miles on it too, really. All it needs are um, new tires, new windows, maybe some new doors, um, a new engine, new brakes a new exhaust, new suspension, maybe some new lights, new belts, a uh, new electrical system, maybe just a few more things, but then really it's perfect. Now of course, for some people this can feel just too great of a gift, so instead you can just settle for a cash prize, and depending on your own level of persuasion you can get anywhere from 100 to 300 caps, and then once you collect, that's it, you're done. You know, you pushed your brain power to the absolute limit and you came out on top, I'm proud of you. Number two, we have the quality assurance interaction. So for this one, if you go to the General Atomics factory, there's a door that you can actually unlock that leads to a quality assurance testing program. And this was designed to help the workers there prevent mistakes and uh, defects when manufacturing products. But you, you know how it goes. It's like when your boss says, a customer is angry because we don't have an item that they want. What do you do? A, politely send them over to customer service. Or B, tell them they look like a pig's ass. What, what do you do? Anyway, so th there's three rooms to complete here. In the first, you have to punish the child for breaking a vase, uh, in the second you have to find a way to comfort the crying baby, and then in the third you have to remove all hazardous materials that a child might be able to harm themselves with, especially the machete in the fridge. Okay, Lord knows I've been caught so many times leaving my machete in the fridge, but uh, then once you do this, the overhead speaker will tell you that she's unlocked the safe out in the hallway, and it's got three fusion cores and some other loot in there as well, you know, as a reward. And number one, we have the wedding day interaction. So for this one, if you go to the Diamond City Schoolhouse, you're going to find Mr. Zwicky and his assistant, Miss Edna, teaching a class. But really, algebra isn't really on their minds. It's something far more complicated. It's love. The two of them secretly admire each other, but they won't act on it because of what the other person might think. Man and robot together. You know, it's, it's very taboo. Few people have ever tried it. But if you do so desire, you can convince Miss Edna that love conquers all. And if you do this, the next time you enter Diamond City, a very interesting scene will unfold. The two of them are getting married, and it's being made official by Pastor Clements. They believe now that they can spend the rest of their lives together. Her folding all of his suits, him changing her nuclear fuel. It's, it's beautiful. Good, good for them, really. Good for them. Um, I will say this, though. That, that was a sad wedding. I mean, no one, no one showed up to that wedding. I mean, you could have sent a postcard to Kiri. I bet she would have loved to go, but okay. And there you have it, five unique interactions in Fallout 4. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Down below, please tell me, do you think there's something else you would add to this list? 
Alright, thank you very much for watching, and you know, if Subiki can marry a robot, come on, I can marry a Deathclaw. Okay, the wedding's gonna be at the end of the month, uh, it's gonna be in the glowing sea, bring your friends and family, it should be really fun, we're gonna have all these awesome appetizers, these mole rat kebabs, um, I invited the children of Adam, they said they might do all of the lights, you know, make it sort of this cool themed marriage, um, Virgil, he might stop by for a little bit, it should be really